less than 25. So for number 1, you would get y equals 4x minus 5. Number 2, you would get y equals negative 3x plus 42. Number 3, you would get y equals 1 half x minus 2. Number 4, you would get y equals negative 7x minus 11. Number 5, you would get y equals negative x plus 24. Number 6, you would get y equals 11 over 4x plus 5. And then for number 1, you would be graphing this, and it would look like that. Number 2, you would be graphing that, and it would look like this. Then number 3, you would be graphing this, and it would look like that. Number 4, you would be graphing this, and it would look like that. Riley drinks 2 liters of water per day. Her mother says that that's the amount she should be drinking, 3 to 4 liters of water a day. If she follows her mother's advice and drinks either... Three to four liters of water a day. What is the most or least total she can drink in a week? So the least she can drink a day is three liters and the most she can drink is four liters. And if she drinks the least, which is three liters a week, which is seven days, then it would be 21. And then if it's the most, it would be 28. And if we want to check that, we could check it with the answers. Number one. Number A, it would be 24 to 26, which is not in number B, 21 to 28, which is it, but let's check the other ones. Number C, 18 to 20, which is not it. Number D, 42 to 50, which is not it, so it would be B, which is 21 to 28. When school ends, Carmen goes out to the ice skating rink to practice her jumps. She had spends five hours there every day after school. During her time there, she's required to spend an hour warming up and split the rest of time for practice jumps and spins. If she has to spend double the amount of time on jumps, how much the time does she spend on spins? So one hour minus five. We have to subtract one hour minus five, which would leave us with four hours. But she needs to spend double the amount of time on jumps than that spins. So if she spends one hour on spins, she needs to spend three hours. And one plus three equals four. So it would be three hours that she spends on jumps and one hour on spins. And let's check our options. A is three hours, B is two hours, C is one hour, and D is four hours. So it would be C, one hour. Marley is a high school student that has a part-time job at the animal shelter. She works there after school four days a week for four hours each shift. Marley gets paid every other Thursday at the rate of $17 per hour. How much does she get paid in total each month? So she gets spends time there. She gets paid every other Thursday at a rate of $17 per hour, which means... Um, so she gets $17 an hour and she spends 4 hours in there. So 17 times 4 would be 368. And then 368 times 4, because we need to find out how much she gets in a week, would be 272. And then we need to find out how many weeks there are in a month, which is also 4. So if we multiply that by 4, then we would get 1... 088 and we check our options 2544 988 and 1088 which would be our answer 1088 okay number four jill adds blue food coloring to her pool to make it more blue her pool is a rectangular prism with a width of 18 feet a length of 10 feet and a depth of 7 feet one bottle of blue food coloring can color 60 cubes in the deep blue that she wants how many bottles of food coloring will Jill need to color this whole pool deep blue? So we can find volume using 18, 10, and 7. And if we multiply that all together, we would get 12, 1260. And 1260 is the volume of the tank. And now we need to find the amount of food coloring. So we would divide it by 60. And if we divide it by 60, then we would get 60 divided by that get us 21 and we can check our options which is a 21 b 20 c 19 and d 18 and if we look through all of them which one is the right answer it would be a 21 